Hello everyone, Chris Reynolds again here at Gospel Missions and Abode for Children. And during this octave of Easter, as we walk through this week, we're coming up on uh, Sunday, Divine Mercy Sunday. And St. Faustina had a vision of our Lord and, and wrote a book. I mean, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful read on God's mercy and had a picture commissioned, the Divine Mercy uh, image. And a lot of folks, you know, they're like, ah, you know, it's it's not real, whatever. Um, but ultimately, I think it comes down to God's loving mercy comes from his heart. And that's why the rays are red and white. It's water and blood coming from the heart of Jesus, washing upon us. But to, to gain God's mercy, what do we what do we need to do? Nothing, really. I mean, he gives us his mercy, but we have to be willing to accept it. And that's through, you know, penance. That's through sacrifice. You know, it's asking for forgiveness. And if we do that, then we gain God's mercy. We can't accept it if we don't. But ultimately, as we go through this week, you know, are we showing that love and mercy to those around us? I fail all the time, you know, no doubt about it. But I try. Having preteen and teen girls, and it's it's hard. Um, and you lose patience. But you got to be able to, to pull it together somehow and be able to walk with them on their journey. That's something that I'll be working on throughout this Easter season. But as we, we go through this week, are we showing that love and mercy to others around us, you know, each and every day? You know, whether it's driving down the road or going into a store or dealing with our children, are we showing that love and mercy to them? You know, we're called, and we I think we're called to be a beacon of light in the darkness. And we need to be able to be that, that beacon of light, especially in this dark, dark world. You know, every time you turn around, you got people killing people. I walked into a bank, killed five people. Everybody blames the guns. It's not the guns that kill. It's the people that kill. Who are these people? Why are they doing it? And what do we need to do to fix the situation? Ultimately, I think we need to put God back in our lives each and every day. We as a society have kicked God out of everything. Kicked him out of schools. Kicked him out of businesses. We go against his, his laws on human nature. Killing the unborn relationships, living outside of marriage. We pretty much scoff God on everything that he said in the Ten Commandments, but yet we wonder, why does he allow this to happen? Really? We won't let him get involved, and you want him to stop this stuff. He's allowing us to live in our own sin. And with sin comes death. And a society that crumbles. So we need to go out there and be a beacon of light in the darkness. Spread the gospel message. Jesus loves you. Turn to him. Maybe then we can fix our society. So as we go through this week and we're walking towards Divine Mercy Sunday, let's ask the Lord to show us mercy and let's show him how much we love him each and every day. God bless you all. Don't forget, Jesus does love you. Have a great week.